What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of how I'm currently studying. On my recent live streams a lot of viewers have been asking uh, how I study and to make like a comprehensive study video for you guys but it's honestly it's always changing. Uh, you gotta keep it fresh so that you don't get bored and you gotta find what works for you and the content you're currently learning. So if you're new to my channel my name is Aaron. I'm a first year med student just struggling to make it through med school and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it if you're new make sure to subscribe hit that like button of course comment down below if this helped you if this gave you any ideas and also um, just leave a comment saying hi or if there's any other videos you'd like me to make this is literally a subscriber requested video so that's what I'm doing um, let my computer load real quick all right, so it's actually updating right now. So let me give you guys a quick rundown. So a few tips before you start studying. Uh, like, like I said, I'm a med student, so my job is to study. Um, so I always have to make sure that the conditions are perfect. It's really hard as a med student because I'm always studying if the conditions aren't perfect. If I'm hungry, if I'm thirsty, if I'm cold, if I'm tired, then it it's just gonna be another distraction so I always try to minimize those distra distractions my favorite place to study is currently at Panera um, not sponsored but Panera you can sponsor me if you watch this video so I like getting a salad a soup I get coffee I get a bear claw something sweet and I always have my water bottle so I basically go into Panera order this and what I do is I put my computer up in front of me um, this is the Surface Pro and I took the keyboard off just so it's easier for me to hold up. So I watch, so as I'm watching videos guys on here, um, I basically watch a lot of videos. So with, nowadays we have so many different um, resources that you guys can get online. We have unlimited resources basically thanks to the internet. So I use Boards and Beyond, I use Sketchy Medical, I use Pathoma, I use Kaplan Questions. Um, so basically, I what I was doing earlier is I play the Boards and Beyond video and I take notes on legal pads. So don't ask me why I use legal pads. Uh, it's the first time I only started doing this when I was in med school, so there's not like a special trick. Um, so I was watching uh, like partial pressures and stuff of oxygen and carbon dioxide. So I basically watch the video, I take notes along while I'm watching the video. And if at any point I did not understand what the video said, I will pause it and go back. This is one of the hardest things as a student to do because you like see it and you're like, oh, okay, I can get that. But you guys really need to wrap your head around the material. If you don't understand it 100%, you need to pause the video and go back. I know it sucks and it's time consuming, um, but in the end, you'll thank yourself because it's actually fun to get things right. Um, if you get in that mindset of it's awesome to get answers correct and it's awesome to know what you're talking about then going back and stuff isn't as bad and I always like to draw the like little uh, where is it like little graphs and stuff just to help me um, visualize it a little bit better and that's basically what I like to do as I'm watching videos I take notes on my legal pad I will pause the video and go back if I don't understand and if I do then great um, what else so, I like to study at Panera because, like I said, I have all the food, I have my jacket, I have my charger. Um, I watch the videos and I write down the notes. Uh, what else can I tell you guys? So, I like to use different colored pens. Uh, it wasn't as apparent today because I didn't really feel the need, but I'll show you guys on this one. So, when I'm going through drugs, like pharmacology, I like to use different colors. I think I started using... So I did black for beta 2 agonists, I used brown for muscarinic antagonists, and then for steroids I went ahead and used um, burgundy. Uh, we're doing asthma and COPD drugs currently. And I like to just change the color up because in my brain I can kind of compartmentalize them. I don't really remember that like in the test, but it's just another way for me to carp compartmentalize information in my brain so that later when I have to recall it, my brain kind of just groups these up together because I did them in different colors. Um, it might not work for everybody, but it definitely works for me. Um, another thing is, where are you? Let me show you guys. 
Uh, the number one thing you guys need to make sure you guys get rid of before you start studying is this bad boy right here. Your phone. Your phone is the most distracting piece of technology in the world. Whenever you're studying, you guys need to make sure to kill it. Uh, put it in your backpack, put it in silent. Don't have your smartwatch on and you can see the messages and notifications that come on. Take it off, put it in your backpack and don't look at it. Um, I literally just went through, I just did like three hours of pretty focused hardcore studying. I feel really comfortable with the material and I didn't take my phone out at all. And I feel really good about myself right now. That's why I decided to come and make this video for you guys. So that's another thing. Your phone needs to go away. I know it's really hard. Um, if somebody needs to get a hold of you, then tell them like, I mean, if you're expecting somebody to get a hold of you, then of course, like keep it on loud or anything. But if you guys can get rid of that little distraction, it makes such a big difference. Your phone sucks. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? I just have something come to mind. Okay, uh, one last tip before I go, or maybe a few more if I can think of them on the fly, is very, uh, like change up the information you're seeing. So I was just doing, so when I started, I was doing oxygen and carbon dioxide disassociation curves, and I got through all of it. Um, I got through all of it and I was feeling good, and then I was dreading going into, what was it? Oh, I was dreading doing um, like lung, lung cancers, carcinomas, adenocarcinomas. So I was like already dreading, I'm like crap, I just got through all of this dry, boring material. Like, I still need to do a bunch of memorization, so I switched it up and I'm like, no. I'm gonna go through the pharmacology, get the pharmacology all done, and that's what I did. I finished all the pharmacology for this week in about, oh, in about an hour. Um, so instead of dreading going through uh, lung cancers, I was like, okay, farm is really high yield for all the questions on my test. It's high yield for step one, so I was kind of excited to study it because of that. So I decided to do this, and I haven't done lung cancers yet, um, but that's okay. I am going to go ahead and try and work on it now. Sorry the lighting is changing, the window's right there, and I'm not a professional YouTuber. So change up the material you're looking at. If you start getting bored, that is very, very bad. Change it up. If you're watching videos and you're getting bored, change it. Do practice questions, um, read from a book. If I get too bored, um, I can start reading from Pathoma, I can start looking at first aid, and I like that because I know it's high yield stuff. And I'm a high yield kind of guy. I really like to study high yield stuff. If there's little very minute details that I know it's like one question or two, then I'm definitely going to look over it, but I'm not going to kill myself over that material. I'm going to kill myself over the high yield stuff because if I get most of those questions right, then I'm going to get most of the questions on the test right. All right, I'm going to have to splice this into the video, but basically another quick tip that I forgot to mention is find your study spot. Like I said, I like to study at Panera, but if it's like at the library, when I was in undergrad, I really liked the going in the library and we had access to these little cubbies. Um, and I really liked going there. So make sure this your study spot is somewhere you actually like to go and that you know you're going to be focused and effective. I'm not very focused when I'm here at home. I came back home because I was tired of studying. Um, over there I studied for about three or four hours already and I got a good healthy lunch in. I wasn't cold, I wasn't hot. So find a good study spot, environment. For me, I like kind of like a hustle and bustle around me when I'm studying. Um, even though I have my headphones in and I'm listening to like videos and stuff, it just helps me stay motivated and productive. So find that for yourself guys. It's different for everybody. Um, try Panera out and see if you like it and that's just another quick tip I forgot to mention previously. So there you go guys. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, I hope you guys um, have any suggestions. If you guys have any questions, let me know. That's basically currently what I'm doing for med school and it's working pretty good. Um, once I get all the content down, I like to do practice questions. I'm using Kaplan and I actually got access to another um, question bank with like med student thing called Amboss. So I'm going to try that out and see how it is for you guys and maybe I can give you guys like a quick review on that. It seems really good so far, um, but I can't say anything as of yet. So if you guys made it this far, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I always get it wrong. It's right here, the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below and please hit that thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it. 
give me suggestions, what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.